Ron, it's Meg and Meek. Meg and Meek and Jeff. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hello. Um, Jeff is a secondee with us at the moment at the police recruitment branch, but his normal place of work is right here at the Public Order Riot Squad. So what we are going to do for the next few weeks is spend a bit of time with Jeff uh, going through what it's like to be a member of this squad. Obviously, you have to be very fit and obviously Meg and Mick are always pushing fitness. So, um, Jeff, you spent a bit of time with us now at, at our physical testing days yes. and you picked up a couple of things on those days. Yeah, so I've been lucky enough to get involved in um, testing the potential recruits at uh, New South Wales Police and a lot of um, applicants uh, fail the hand grip test. So here today what I'm going to show is how you can improve those hand grip tests and give you some ideas of um, what you can do to actually hopefully pass those. And Excellent. Yeah, so we're just going to run you through some things that I do, which also assisted me in, um, I'm a com competitor on Australian Ninja Warrior, um, what helped me with the grip. So I'll give you some tips. And I that. actually witnessed you do the hand grip last week and you got 90. So. Um, and I think last time you did it, you, you broke the machine and we had to buy a new one. So, um, yeah, so the other thing is too, if there's potential like police applicants out there and potential police recruits who are wanting to get into this area, then the next few weeks, we're going to kind of take you through what, what a day in the life of a, a pause operative is all about. So stay tuned. Um, it's going to be a series over the next few weeks. And thanks, thanks a lot for, you know, taking us through. And we're really excited to be here, aren't yeah. we, Mick? Yep. Look excited, yep. Mick. We're about, so. to do, about to do some painful exercises. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Let's get on okay, to it. Okay, let's get yep. All right. So the first tra training that I love doing is actually the farmer's carry. So with, with the weight, I like to carry my own body weight. So at the moment, I'm about just under 100 kilos. So I've got 50 kilo dumbbells here. But um, for you, it's whatever you're comfortable of doing and you can increase the weight as you progress. So we're just going to demonstrate to you how we do this. Make sure your back straight when you're lifting and just walk. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk 20 meters and back. Keep those shoulders back. That's it. And just down. Make sure you keep your back straight. Okay, so Jeff, that's a great exercise for our police applicants who are training for the hand grip, because you can do that anywhere. You can do it in the backyard, you can do it in the gym. Like, exactly, and you whatever. don't necessarily have to have um, dumbbells to do it. Like whatever weight you have, pile of bricks or whatever you can use, a uh, sandbag, it's perfect. And yeah. personally, when I go to the gym, I don't like waiting around in between sets. So I just pick up one of these and walk on the other side of the gym and back. You're a freak. <laughs> All right, so, you know, session one of many sessions to come. Mick, looking forward to the next one? Yeah, my forearms are killing me. Okay, all right, so we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Jeff. Looking forward to it. Thank you. See ya.